Hey, what's up, everybody? And today I'm going to show you how to make a easy little radio jammer out of a little Raspberry Pi. All you need for this tutorial is power source for your Raspberry Pi. You can use your phone charger in a wall socket or this battery pack that I bought. If you want to do this, I can put a link in the description for this item online. A mouse, keyboard, and the SD card with Raspbian installed. And the final thing is a simple antenna so it can reach the radios. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to pause the video and get to the login screen and show you what to do from there. Okay, we are back. So now we're at the login screen. What you're going to need to do here, if you have not changed it by default, the login is Pi for the username and the password is Raspberry. Now, you're logged in, you're going to want to type in start x. If you don't know what that means, all that's doing is starting a little GUI so you don't have to type everything through this dull console. It just gives you a visual view. So, once this boots up, I'll show you the next step. Okay, now that we're on the desktop, you're going to receive this little folder called pyfm. There's not much in it, there's only four files inside. The executable and the others that you need. Now this right here, this is optional. This is a little sound file just for an example that you can mess with. If you don't want to use this one, you can use any .wav file that you like. So what you're going to need to do is right click the folder. Once it stops lagging, I'll show you what to do. Okay, it's going to say open in terminal. Open in ter terminal. Now, in the command prompt, type in sudo python. And what that's doing is it's asking for administrator privileges to import python into this command prompt. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to import pyfm. Now, this is very case sensitive. If you leave out just a lower case or a capital case, it will not work. So you're going to put in capital P lowercase i, capital F, and then lowercase m. Now it's imported. Now what you're going to do to use this script is you're going to do capital P, I, capital F, M, dot, play, underscore, sound. Then you're going to put left parentheses here. And then you're going to put the name of the file, sound, dot, wave, here and then the right parenthesis. Now, there. Now it's working. So now what we need to do is I'm going to pause the video and demonstrate what it's doing now. Okay, so on your Raspberry Pi to make this work, you need to go on the bottom side to pin number four, which is right here. Now that's hooked up, we can go over to the radio and we'll show you it working. Now any radio will work with this, you don't have to be all fancy with it. Now if you hear it, Star Wars is playing. Now if we change the radio station, see, there's nothing. Hope you enjoyed. If you need any help, ask me in the comments and I'll help you out the best I can. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.